the ministry had an appropriation of uh, six billion one ninety seven million one seventy thousand and two forty eight naira, <coughs> out of which the sum of nine hundred and eighty one million six hundred and forty eight thousand eight hundred and thirty seven is for the personal cost, uh, which means around uh, most probably, let me say maybe. 20% uh, of the entire budget is for personnel. The sum of uh, 223 million 791,496 naira is for the overhead cost, while the sum of 4 billion 991,000 uh, million 734,915 naira is for the capital expenditure. Based on the budget appropriation, uh, for the year 2021, the actual performance of the appropriation is as follows. Uh, going through the personnel cost, this is uh, the first column is just the description of what the line item is all about. Then the, the second column is the 2021 appropriation by the National Assembly. Then the third column released to the ministry by the federal government. Uh, the fourth column, the actual expenditure been uh, implemented by the ministry through the office of the permanent secretary here with me then the balance not released by the federal government then the percentage of the performance all of them had been uh, uh, explained here in the table in summary in order to provide the clear picture to the national assembly this body we have captured here based on the information provided to me by my colleague and elder brother the permanent secretary the money was released only on 26 October 2021, which is uh, less than a week today, or uh, roughly one week today. And uh, secondly, the approval for the implementation is also pending with the Bureau of Public Procurement. His, last week he was there, this week he was also there, and the commitment they have given to him, they are going to give the certificate to go ahead when? This week, or this week, most probably towards the end of the week. So this is the challenge. So the money here was only released on 26th of October 2021. So and secondly, after releasing, then you must get the approval. Otherwise, Procurement Act is one of the most uh, challenging acts in Nigeria that any CEO or chief accounting officer must be extra careful in its implementation. So we are waiting for the approval from BPP. When that is secured this week, I assure you, within the time frame, uh, a lot is going to be achieved. And before the end of December, I will be able to smile when I meet you and explain to you that this is what we have uh, implemented. The summary of the 2022 budget proposals for the ministry, and uh, including some of the para starters, has been uh, captured here. Uh, the personal cost for the ministry is uh, 1 billion 32 million 789,793 naira, while the overhead cost is uh, 223,791,496, while the capital budget is uh, 85,231,882,905 naira. However, this amount largely uh, accommodates what we call NICTIP 2, National Information and Communications Technology Infrastructure Backbone 2. Federal government has executed NICTIP 1, uh, if I can recall, around from 2006 up to around 2011. And since then, the process of NICTIP 2 started. So that process was started around 2013 uh, to date. So the bulk amount which I think is around 80 billion here is for NICTIP 2, which has nothing to do with the implementation of the ministry. I asked Minister of Finance why including that she said it is an attempt by the uh, federal government to capture the entire spending because this one is a loan of the federal government to be implemented by a private uh, company. So it has nothing to do with the ministry implementation directly or with uh, the government, any government parastatal. But it's a direct loan which has been secured by the Minister of Finance and to be implemented by the federal government. The actual capital to be implemented by the ministry 
is around 5 billion or 4.6 4. 4. billion. The overall budget summary for the ministry and, uh, and some of the parastatals are captured here. For the personnel I earlier mentioned and overhead I mentioned, while the capital is also mentioned including NICTIP 2, in which 80, around 80 something billion is for the loan, while 4.6 is the actual capital to be implemented by the ministry. We have Nigerian communication satellite, which has a personnel cost of uh, 2 billion 723 million 546 thousand 721 naira, and they also have their overhead of 63 million 183,065, and they also have a capital of uh, 5 billion 440 million. 161,987 naira, and the total allocation has been explained in the last column of uh, 8.2 billion. Then coming to NIPOST, in which they have the personnel of 13 billion, 116 million, 515,362 naira, in which nothing has been allocated for overhead uh, for NIPOST, and nothing has been allocated for capital. So the entire spending for nine post is on the personnel. Then coming to National Identity Management Commission, in which they have five billion eight thirty-three million four hundred and nine thousand seven ninety-eight naira. This is only for personnel, and they also have overhead of three ninety-two million seven sixty thousand three eighty-four naira. And the capital for also NIMSI is forty-six billion. 533 million 428,179. Collectively, 52 million has been proposed for the National Identity Management Commission.